Located roughly 22 miles outside of Atlanta, Georgia, is Austell, Georgia, a place with a population of 7,896 people. The area of Austell offers antique shops, wineries, and breweries. If you're adventurous, it offers seven parks that combined span over 91 acres. It's also host to Six Flags over Georgia. Despite being a hidden getaway for the surrounding areas, your chance of becoming victim to a violent crime is one out of every 45 people. Those are pretty high statistics for the population itself. In the year of 2023, one of those victims would be a young woman with a bright future. Her death would spark an outrage on social media and give way for deeper conversations about safety and awareness. This is the story of Beauty Couch. April 23rd, 2001. The world would make way for Beauty Couch. She would be born to her mother, Kimberly Couch. However, due to circumstances, she would be given up for adoption. And by seven months old, she would be adopted by a woman who goes by the name of Deanna Thurman. Beauty is described as a smiling baby, someone who brought joy to those around her. By the age of two, she could be seen always singing and dancing around the house. As a toddler, she had an infectious smile. She also had the capability of bringing a smile upon your face. Wherever she went, happy times were sure to follow. Although Beauty did have an adoptive mother, she still had a relationship with her biological mother and was still raised alongside of her family. She had three brothers and two sisters. Growing up, the importance of family would be instilled in beauty. She had brothers and sisters, but she was also close with her cousins, her uncles, and her aunts. In this family, family was everything. As time began to pass in Beauty's life, she would attend Cobb County Public Schools, and upon graduation, she would enroll in Clayton State University. By the time graduation came around, she had grown into a young woman who was full of life, someone who was easy to get along with. She's described as a great person, someone who was giving, caring, empathetic towards others' needs. With those attributes, it's not a surprise that after graduation, she was planning on going into child psychology. By the year of 2023, Beauty would turn 22 years old. She was currently working at the Youth Life Centers as an art director of dance, but on the weekends, she was a waitress at the Blazing Restaurant and Lounge. These were jobs she worked to get her along, but she was also an entrepreneur. She had a pop-up store which she named Beauty K Essentials. At this moment in her life, everything seemed great for Beauty. She had her own business, steady jobs. She was in school with a bright future. Aside from work, she had a hobby of skating. Skating was a childhood passion of hers. However, around the year of 2021, she would begin to take skating seriously. She was even a member of a skate team. Beauty was by all means headed for the stars. She had a great family support system. She had a great friend structure. She also had dreams that she planned on accomplishing. But although the year of 2023 was shaping out to be a great year for beauty, it would also be the year that tragedy would arise. August 23rd, 2023. The Austell Fire Department would be dispatched to the intersection of Joe Jerkins Boulevard and Lander Street. At this time, the fire department is responding to a call made about a brush fire. Upon arrival to the location, the fire department would observe a car engulfed in flames. So, the firemen did what they do. 
they would extinguish the fire. But afterwards, they have to do an investigation on what caused this fire. So the first thing to do would be to find the car's owner. After tracing the VIN number, it would successfully lead them to a home. The home that they were led to was none other than Beauty Couches. Upon speaking with her parents, they would come to find that the car was registered in her adoptive father's name. But although it was registered in her father's name, the car was mostly driven by Beauty. The adoptive parents were then asked if they knew why the car was on fire or had any idea, but they couldn't offer an explanation. However, they did have other information. They would relate to the authorities that they hadn't seen Beauty since the morning prior. The family had attempted to reach Beauty. However, their calls were unanswered. And with the given circumstances, she was now considered missing. Now armed with this information, this would prompt the authorities to go back to the area in which the car was found burning. And they would search the area thoroughly. And near the wood line, they would come across the body of a young female. The body would, in fact, be identified as 22-year-old Beauty Couch. An autopsy would be conducted on the body of Beauty Couch, and the medical examiner would determine that she had succumbed to multiple stab wounds. Early on in the investigation, the only thing the authorities had was a burned car and the body of Beauty Couch. However, when it came to leads or suspects, they had none. With that being the case, the authorities would turn to the local media in hopes of generating information and introducing new leads. Well, Austell Fire responded to this area for a brush fire, but when they got here, they found Beauty Kay's car in this ditch completely torched and her body in the trees close by. Now, Cobb County Police Department needs your help solving this crime. According to Cobb County Police, it was only after her car was discovered on fire Wednesday near Joe Jerkins Boulevard and Lander Street in Austell, and police began investigating the blaze that they realized something bigger had occurred. When they went and spoke to the owner, that's when they discovered that their daughter had not been seen since the previous morning. That's what led them back to the incident location, trying to see if maybe she was nearby. And that's when they found her in the wood line. Detectives had determined based on the scene investigation that there is foul play suspected. And again, anyone with information about this crime is asked to call the Cobb County Police Department. Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. The investigation into what happened to 22-year-old Beauty Couch wouldn't last long. Days after the incident transpired, 21-year-old Eugene Jacquez would be taken into custody. Eugene was the boyfriend of Beauty Couch. The authorities didn't want to tip the public off that he was a wanted man. They had already searched Austell, Georgia for him, but he wasn't in the area. When Eugene was finally caught, he was caught in Louisiana and transported to the local jail in the area. One simple question asked by a grieving Cobb County family. How? That's what they're asking the man accused of killing 22-year-old Beauty Couch. Sean, the family of Beauty Couch is grieving tonight. They've placed a memorial here near the scene of this crime. And while investigators have arrested a suspect in connection with Couch's murder, the family says they still have many questions. Police arrested 21-year-old Eugene Louise Jacquez in connection with the death of Beauty Couch. He has been charged with murder, arson, and aggravated assault, and is currently in the St. Tammany Parish Jail in Louisiana, awaiting extradition back to Cobb County. I met him one time, and when I met him, I was like, hey, how you doing? That was it. And I was like, Looked at my baby, and then I like that person is not going to be the right person for my baby. On Monday, family and friends visited the scene of the crime off Joe Jerkins Boulevard, placing balloons and flowers nearby in Beauty's memory. I just had to feel her final resting place. I had to feel her spirit. I want her to know that she's missed, she's loved, 
And while the family says they are grateful for this arrest in this case so soon, they said they won't have the closure they need until they see the suspect face to face in court. Live in all still tonight, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First. While he's locked up in a Louisiana Paris jail, the authorities are drawing up papers for a warrant for murder, as well as arson. But while they're doing that, the family was planning a funeral. Her friends, family, and anyone who had the privilege of knowing beauty would attend this funeral and pay their respects. But while she was being laid to rest, the burning question that lied beneath the surface was why? Why did this happen to a beautiful soul? The last thing I imagine myself doing today is laying my little cousin to rest. However, we come together to celebrate the time God blessed us to have with Beauty. Beauty had a spirit that radiated pure joy. She had a smile that would infect the whole room if you let it. In the time we were blessed to spend with Beauty, she taught us invaluable lessons. She reminded us to live life doing things that you're passionate about, to persevere even though times get tough, and to embrace life with a smile. Or I shall live your epitaph to make or you survive when I in earth am rotten. From hence your memory death cannot take, although in me each part will be forgotten. Your name from hence immortal life shall have, though I once gone, to all the world must die. The earth can yield me but a common grave, when you entombed in men's eyes shall lie. Your monument shall be my gentle verse, which eyes not yet created shall o'erread, and tongues to be your being shall rehearse when all the breathers of this world are dead. You still shall live. Such virtue hath my pen, where breath most breathes, even in the mouths of men. Eugene Jacques would be extradited to Georgia to face charges of murder and arson, but the question at hand is still why what was the motive behind taking her life due to this being an ongoing investigation the authorities hadn't released any information at all it seems like they're running a very tight shift to ensure a conviction although there is no motive i did speak with a few people who beauty knew and they pointed towards the fact that she may have been seeing a new guy. Roughly two months before her untimely passing, she would post on her Facebook page a post. In this post, it's read, post of appreciation. If he wanted to, he would. Got these delivered to my job unexpectedly. Some people believe that this post was hinting towards the fact that she was seeing a new guy. But again, that speculation. When it comes to Beauty Couch and Eugene, she was secretive about her relationships. Her family had only met the guy once, and only a couple of family members at that. So, when it comes to information, or rather, the inside details of that relationship, there can't be any given. The only thing that was said was that in the beginning of the relationship, which hadn't been going on long, by the way, things were great. He was a guy that wined and dined her, and from the outside looking in, they looked happy. But in the end, 22-year-old Beauty Couch would lose her life. Someone who was aiming for the moon, someone who was driven, someone who was a beautiful soul that didn't deserve what happened to her. At this point, it looks like you're going to have to wait for court to get the real details of this story. This is an all-around tragic situation, and my heart goes out to the family. Rest in peace, beauty, couch. Thank you for being a light for others.